Hi, welcome to Moomoo Math. Today we're going to look at operations with vectors. So we're just going to learn how to combine vectors in two different ways and then look at scalar multiplication. So combining two vectors. So let's say we have the vector a sub 1 and a second vector a sub 2. Um, and vector 1 is in component form 1, 3 and vector 2 is also in component form 2, 6. We are just going to add these two vectors together by combining the horizontal and the vertical directions. So to combine a sub 1 and a sub 2, we're going to take 1 and we're going to add 2 to it. So we're taking these horizontal components and adding them together and then take the vertical components 3 and 6 and add those together and that's going to give us the resultant vector 3, 9. And that's very simply how you add two vectors together. Now let's subtract. So we're going to take vector 2, the second vector, and we're going to subtract vector 1. So again, we're going to take the horizontal and vertical components and combine them. So since we're taking 2, we're going to take 2 minus 1. So 2 minus 1 to get the horizontal component. And then the vertical component, we're going to take 6 minus 3. And our resultant vector would then be 1 comma, what's that, 3? So the resultant vector is 1, 3. Very, very simple to combine with adding and subtracting. Now let's talk about scalar multiplication. There are a couple different ways to multiply with vectors, but the first one is just scalar. So you're going to multiply vector a sub 1, the first vector, by 3. So we're just going to take 3 times the vector 1, 3, which is a scalar. So we're just going to distribute and basically dilate that vector from the position 1, 3 to 3, 9. And that's how you um, apply that scalar multiplication. You just multiply by the constant k. Now let's look at vector addition from more of a graphing approach. And we can see the same resulting vector with graphing. So the resultant vector is the vector that results from adding two or more vectors together. And there are two different ways to calculate that resultant vector. So let's say we're going to take vector 1 and vector 2, v1, v2, and we're going to add those together. So what I'm going to do graphically is I'm going to start using the head to tail method. So I'm going to draw first the vector 4, 2. So that means I'm going over 4 and up 2. So my first vector from standard position would be this vector. There's 4, 2. I'm going to then add to it the vector 2, which is the vector 1, 3. So at the tail end of the first vector, I'm now going to draw my second vector. So I'm going to go over from the end of this one. I'm going to go over 1 and up 3 and draw my second. Whoops, that didn't draw very well. Let's undo that one and draw this a little straighter. Well, that wasn't much straighter, but there's my ending result. So there are my two vectors added together. So what is the result of that vector? Well, I'm going to draw this one in red. From the beginning where I started to the very end where I ended, adding those two together, that is my resulting vector. So the red vector is my resultant. So what have I just created? What is the component form of the red vector? Well, the component form is 5, right? I've gone over 5 in my horizontal direction, and I've gone up 5. So my resultant vector is the vector 5, 5. And that is the head-to-tail method on adding two vectors together. Now let's look at the parallelogram method. This is very helpful, especially when you get to the bigger vectors. How can you calculate this with a parallelogram? Well, what you're going to do is you're going to start, this time I'm going to use some, some actual arrows. You're going to start and draw both 
of the vector 1 and vector 2 from the origin. So I'm going to start 0, and I'm going to draw the first one from the origin, and there's 4, 2. Then I'm going to draw the second vector, 1, 3, also from the origin. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a parallelogram. So I'm going to go over here and basically just copy this vector. So I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to paste it. And I'm going to draw this vector. Let's got to grab it here. And draw it here. And then I'm going to also copy this one. And I'm going to pick it up and draw on the other side and create a parallelogram. Okay, so there's my parallelogram with, and we know that, you know, these two sides are parallel and these two sides are parallel. Now I'm going to dr draw a resulting vector. And let's make this one in red. I'm going to draw my resulting vector in red. And I'm going to go from corner to corner or draw a diagonal from beginning to end. There is my resulting vector. And that is the parallelogram method. It just helps with errors. So what is the resulting vector? Where the resulting vector, again, is over 5, up 5. So I'm getting the same resulting vector of 5, 5. Just that's the parallelogram method. And those are some very basic operations, adding and subtracting, scalar multiplication, and then adding two vectors, but with the graphical approach to get our resultant vector. So there's the beginning of operations with vectors.